Hello kids, meet Alifia and Anas. And you know what? It is Alifia's seventh birthday, and she, along with her brother Anas, is happy and excited. So let's see what she got as her birthday gift. Hey, look at this! I got a telescope. Wow, what a lovely gift! Let's go to the terrace and watch the stars. Hey. It's a shooting star. Yes, it is. Hey, Anas. Hey, Alifia. My name is Mr. Goggles, but you can call me Mr. G. Well, it all started with the Big Bang. Bang. Yes, my dear kids. Everything from a sand particle to trees, mountains to rivers, earth, sun, everything. It was all formed after a big bang. So, today I'm going to tell you the story of the beginning of the universe. Isn't that so cool? The Big Bang Theory. A lot of cosmologists believe that the universe was formed about 14 billion years ago. Well, that's a lot of time, isn't it? Hey, you know who a cosmologist is? Well, It's a scientist who studies about the universe. So, coming back to the Big Bang, it is assumed that there was a very big explosion in an extremely hot bubble. The bubble was smaller than the size of a pinhead, and it was hotter and denser than anything we could ever imagine. Before the Big Bang. This bubble was known as the cosmic egg or the primeval atom. After this explosion, the universe we know today was born, and with this, time, space, and matter came into existence. And all this happened in a fraction of second. Yes, my dear kids, in a matter of second, the universe grew from smaller than a single atom to bigger than a galaxy. and it continued to expand at a phenomenal rate and is growing and expanding even today as the universe cooled down energy converted into matter and antimatter destroying each other however some brave matter survived after the big bang explosion in just a fraction of second universe expanded to more than 100 billion kilometers and cooled down to form more stable particles like neutrons and protons and my dear children do you know over the next 3 minutes the temperature dipped below 1 degree celsius and the universe became colder and protons and neutrons to bond together and form the hydrogen the first atom After millions of years when the hydrogen gas clumped together and gravity started to put it under pressure stars and galaxies began to form the radiation began to dissolve the stable hydrogen gas into plasma that allowed visible light to pass and finally there was light there are millions and billions of galaxies and stars in the universe and out of many such galaxies is the milky way yes the galaxy that we live in now come let's take a closer look at our solar system this is how our solar system looks like with planets revolving around the sun the sun is the main source of light for all the planets the solar system comprises of sun and eight planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Mercury is the closest to the sun and also the smallest planet. Do you know one year on Mercury equals 88 Earth days? Venus. It is the second planet from the sun and it is the hottest planet in our solar system. This is mainly because of presence of carbon dioxide that leads to the trapping up of the heat and raising the temperature. Earth, aha, the planet where we live. It is the only planet in our solar system where life is possible. 
You know why, right? Because of the presence of water, sunlight and oxygen. Moon is the only natural satellite of Earth. Mars, also known as the red planet, because of its reddish appearance. It is home to most of the strongest and longest dust storms. Jupiter, it is the largest planet of our solar system. It also has four moons. Saturn, there are around 150 moons around Saturn. Well, that's a lot of moons, right? Titan being its biggest moon, the planet has rings around it made up of dust and ice. Uranus, it is very cold planet with temperatures dipping below minus 224 degrees Celsius. Neptune, it is also known as ice giant and it takes about 165 earth years to rotate around the sun. It has about 14 moons. So can you tell me what is the biggest moon of Saturn known as? If you know this answer, do answer in the comment section. So kids, did you like our video? If yes, then do like and share the video. For more on Kids Flix Club, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon. And this is Mr. Goggles and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.